Hey guys, what is up? My name is Thomas Spark and welcome back to another VPN video. Today we're talking about what is the best free VPN going into 2022. We're already there, so let's go ahead and find out. But wait Tom, why should we listen to you? You're just some random guy on the internet, right? Wrong. I'm not just some random guy. I'm the guy who created the first VPN tier list. Now I've pretty much created every single VPN out there and this is something no one else has ever done. I've been doing this for around five years now and I've probably spent thousands of hours of reviewing VPNs and that means these reviews are the most accurate on the internet, bar none. So guys, normally here on the channel I don't really recommend free VPNs or free VPN providers. Most of them have severe limitations and we're going to name a few right now. One of the most common things about free VPNs is that they are collecting data in some way. It's the way to monetize their application. They might have sketchy privacy policies or there might be some kind of leak down the line where they have poor security. At the end of the day, most free VPNs have you as the customer. Um, your, your data is the customer. You're not necessarily paying with your money, but with your data. Outside of that, though, there are some other free VPN monetization models. A lot of free VPNs you might see recommended on YouTube or elsewhere um, might have advertisements on them. I've seen one guy on YouTube recommending this VPN, and the way they monetize it is by using the VPN. Every once in a while, you have to watch an ad or something like that, and you'll get like a form of currency you can use to keep using the VPN. These VPNs, honestly, I don't think they're really worth using because number one, the ads are going to get super annoying. Number two, the speeds are not going to be that good. There's a limited amount of servers and the bandwidth is probably restricted. Other free VPNs also have other problems. A lot of times they don't have that good of features. They're not working with streaming services. And even at the end of the day, if we're recommending like quote unquote what it would be a good VPN, they're still going to have restrictions. And that's the price you pay for not paying. So if, in my opinion, you do find a good free VPN provider, at best, it's going to be more like a trial. If you see if someone telling you to use a VPN and they're saying, like, don't use VPNs that are trial or, you know, this one is completely free, then it's either going to be one of those ad driven VPNs or they're going to be selling your data. However, if you're using a VPN that's more alongside a trial basis, there are going to be limitations, primarily in the form of data. You're only going to be able to use it for around 10 gigabytes at most per month, and that's just something you're going to have to work around. Additionally, you might have limited servers to connect to, which means you're not going to get the best speeds. Sometimes protocols are even limited, as well as other features like streaming compatibility. You're not going to get access to the best streaming servers to let you unblock geo-restricted content. So now that we've kind of covered, you know, some of the restrictions with free VPN providers, at the end of the day, if you still do not want to pay, if you don't want to choose one of the best VPNs on VPNTierList.com, S tier preferred, and you still, you still want to use a free VPN, which one am I going to recommend? Well, that's probably going to be Hide.me. Now, Hide.me is great because it's a paid VPN provider, but they do offer a free plan to try out. This one is going to have limitations, like I said, but this is the best you're going to get. I wouldn't recommend using one of those other VPNs that has ads or is selling your data, and Hide.me is doing neither of those things. So it's going to be completely safe. Um, you are going to have some limitations, though. Like I said, you're going to have that 10 gigabyte transfer data limit. You can have limited server locations. You're only going to be able to use one device at a time. You might not get access to the newest WireGuard protocol, and you might not get access to all the streaming services and stuff like that. So like I said, there are handicaps. There are limited things about it. But at the end of the day, you're going to be safe. It's going to be free. And you don't have to pay anything. That said, would I recommend using that if you can't afford it? Well, not really. I think picking a one-year plan, two-year plan, or something like that would be a good option if you like Hide.me after trying the free plan. If you're really hurting for the budget, but you still want to use a VPN, you don't like the idea of ads, selling data, or some of the limited feature sets you decide you want to pay, I would check out TorGuard VPN. It's number one on the channel for many reasons, and one of the reasons is its affordability factor. If you click on my link on VPNTierList.com, you'll be giving the discount code TOMSPARK2022. And as you can see here, you can get it as low as $5 a month or even around half off, so $30 a year. If you click here, you can see that it switches to the annual plan and it's going to be $30. Additionally, if you purchase it for three years, you could get it for $70. And if you did the math, that's really only around 50 cents a month. So not bad at all. I would recommend purchasing that three-year plan 
paying 50 cents a month, getting the fastest speeds, having access to all the servers, not dealing with ads, not dealing with someone selling your data. That's honestly my recommended option if you're really limited on cash. That said, if you still cannot afford it, Hide.me offers an excellent free plan, as good as it could get from a free VPN provider, and they're probably my most trusted free VPN option. They're also an excellent option as well as a VPN, just a little bit more pricey than something like TorGuard. Excellent VPN though, really like them. And look, they even like us too. And this is probably the only recommendation here on this website that I trust. This one actually got purchased by Cape, so yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you again in the next one very soon.